Okay, uh, <clears throat> there's we've learned that a lot of the folks that are watching enjoy uh, learning about the farm equipment and that it might be new to them. So, you know, we have our, you can see we have our homestead here closed, but our means of business, our means of business is farming the ground and all our ground is closed. And by all respects, we're pretty small farmers here in Iowa, but we are full-time farmers. And um, we have been blessed with some good equipment and uh, we've worked hard over the years. So we can enjoy seeing you uh, showing you the farming side and then showing you the home and, and the family side too. And uh, one of the things we've learned to enjoy is teaching y'all about the farm equipment. And so we're going to try to do a little bit more about that. One of the questions we have is about the augers, those tubes, and I, we have yellow ones right now, the tubes that go up to the top of a bin and puts the grain, like the corn and the beans, into the bin. And how do they work? So I want to show you how they work. And, and one of the best ways to show you is actually using a toy. Lemuel has a toy auger. And we're going to show you his toy auger and how it works. Now an auger is a, it's a screw in a tube is what it is. And a screw, if you remember from school, is a uh, simple machine. It is an inclined plane wrapped around an axle. So that's what a, an auger is. That's what a screw is. A screw is an inclined plane. You remember the inclined plane wrapped around an axle. So a screw or an auger is uh, even a screw, screw that goes in a deck is um, two simple machines put together to make another simple machine. A compound simple machine. And here we have, just like this, I should set it up this way, I guess. We have a toy auger. This one is clear, and it shows you exactly how it does. So you have the long shaft with the inclined plane wrapped around it. Now, when it turns, you can have two things. You can either pull the screw into the ground, or, the, or whatever's down here will pull up the screw. So inside of those yellow tubes are, are not, are, uh, and here I'll put a little popcorn down here. This is real popcorn. And um, you can see how if the shaft doesn't move, then whatever is at the, sh at the bottom of the shaft will move. So this is either going to screw into the ground or the ground will come up it or whatever this is down here. So I will come up here and I'll, I will crank this and you watch and we'll show you how it transports beans or corn or whatever else up the inclined plane or the auger up here so when the auger is flat right here it's easy to pull now when you put an auger way up on top of a bin you're pulling it that's a lot heavier of a pull but uh that that's the way it works now see if you can get that abby get it get tight right down here And that's the way it works. This is just a very, very small principle, very, very small scale, but the, those big augers work the exact same way. You can put your gasoline engine, an electric motor on here, or the way we operate them is the back of a tractor. On the back of a tractor, you got a little stub that's called a power takeoff. It takes power off the engine and it, and it runs up and then it runs the power up here, has gearbox, and then it turns it up here too. So just like that. Now, augers are extremely dangerous because, and hit, there you go, you see it going up again? The faster you go, it just pushes that right up there. Just moves it right up. Augers are mesmerizing to look at, and as a young man, I always ran the auger, and they, they're, it's hard to watch an auger without letting your eyes get following, but it's hard to watch one spot and keep your eyes on one spot without being hypnotized into going and so augers are, are uh, pretty impressive uh, enjoyable to run if you just enjoy what you're doing which we do so augers right here this is the the little hopper bottom if you get your finger lemuel here let's have a safety demo 
stick your finger in that end. Ah! See right there? Ow. <laughs> if that was your foot and there was a tractor powering it with all the leverage that the uh, a real auger has, it would rip your foot off. And many a farmer has had his foot ripped off in an auger, or fingers, or hands. So uh, that's very, very dangerous. And uh, hair, hands, fingers, and feet, uh, baggy clothes, strings on hoodies, uh, shoe strings, very dangerous. And um, off camera, if, I, if you don't see it on camera, off camera, I'm constantly harping at the children. Be careful, because an auger can kill you. Okay, so I think it'll be in this video. I think we're going to combine it. What is a uh, auger? And so I showed you what an auger is. And an auger is a screw, which a screw is an inclined plane around an axle. And it's a screw. And instead of screwing itself into material, it screws the material up itself. So that's what an auger is. And um, now I'm going to show you what dry, someone asked about how we dry corn. So I'm going to show you how, how the drying process works. So we have that's our that's basically a big hopper, and then it goes down, and there's the auger, which is that there's a screw in that too. It runs up, and this is what we call our wet holding bin right here. And the wet holding bin holds the wet corn and it meters it in to the dryer. And the dryer goes over, let's see where my finger's at. The dryer goes over into the pneumatic system and it blows it up into the bins. So that's the overview and I'm going to show you. So we can combine corn quickly and it comes up and a uh, wet holding bin. And then this is what you call a continuous flow dryer. And I hope you could hear all that. Uh, the wind's blowing and I was pointing the camera away. But uh, from, the, from the wagon into the wet holding tank, into the, uh, which meters into the dryer here. So the dryer has uh, automatic. And up there, right there, is a switch that when it gets full, it turns this auger off. When it drops below that, it turns this, this auger here on and keeps it full. There are eight sections in here eight sections one two three and four and there's four on the other side and when this is running right down here at the bottom i'll see if you guys can see you see that that right there turns and what that is it's called a metering roll and it takes just the bottom corn out so what you do you fill this up and when you get it going say it's 20 percent corn and after you get it going all this corn is dropping by ever so slightly it'll just drop just a little bit and, and the corn goes straight down and um so it starts out at the top getting heated and then it just continues its way down and then it down, down, down. And by the time the corn goes all the way down through, it's been heated long, long enough. And the bottom corn's been in there the longest. It's the driest. It gets put out and then it comes here and it, it goes into there and up to the pneumatic, uh, up to the pneumatic shed and then it's uh, into the bins. So there's two ways that we can regulate how fast this dries. That is how fast we, we make it drop, how fast it drops down through, and how hot we run it. This thing runs off of uh, LP, but in your house, if you have LP in your house, you're running gaseous propane, which is gaseous liquid propane. Um, your propane will vaporize and go into your house as a gas. We run liquid liquid propane through here so that this thing runs off of actual liquid propane and it vaporizes in there and there's a coil and there's a huge huge flame and a huge huge burner in there that blows and you have the corn and this is hollow inside there's the burner that's that's the coil right there around so it goes up and around two or three times and then there so there's a big huge flame there 
and it blows this thing will be real hot in here and then it blows out the corn that's surrounding it so it's this that hollow area is surrounded by corn and then it blows that heat forces it through that corn and the corn is slowly settling down through there that's how a dryer works and this is continuous flow so um, it starts 20% up there and comes out at 16. That's the goal. So 20% at top and you take four points of moisture out as it goes down. I set it all here and lots of times I'll set it here on this circuit board and um, we'll set it and lots of times I'll be running maybe 160 degree heat and by the time it starts at the top and then when it comes out it's probably I'll have it 95 that corner be heated up to 95 to 100 sometimes 110 degrees so I'm basically heating that corn up to 110 degrees and then I blow the heat off in there and that's the way we dry corn uh, I can run this thing up to 200 I've had it when we have really wet corn I've had it up to 212 degrees and you're almost to the point of boiling the, the it off but and when it's cold and I have this thing 212 degrees this thing's just uh, the steam coming off of it is is impressive but um, you keep it moving, you keep the air blowing through it, and it'll take a lot of moisture out. So heat and air will take moisture out. That's the way things are dried. That's what's happening in this drying setup that you see us talking about dry, drying. So some years we, it might be 22% coming out of the field and never get drier. This year it's down to 20 and it might be 18. And we can run low temperature, high, high fall, high pass through. And we can uh, dry a lot of corn that way. When it's really wet, you have to slow this thing down. So instead of going boom, 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 it's just boom. It's slowing down. And uh, then I don't have to run near as much heat. That's how you dry corn.